Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. <sighs> Deep breaths. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's time to decompress after work. I have to get to the pharmacy before it closes, but, and I have to work tomorrow. Yay. So I am going to decompress for an hour or so, maybe. And I am going to go to TJ Maxx and Burlington. And I am going to limit myself to one body care item and one candle. Or two body care items and no candles. So we will go see what they have. Now, depending on how suspiciously they look at me. I'll take you along with me. And you'll get to see what I see. First, I have to take this stuff out of my purse before they think I, st I stole it. I stole it. Um, right now, I'm using the uh, hand sanitizer from Goose Creek. This is the red, white, and blue. It's supposed to smell like a, a popsicle, but it really doesn't. And then this, I've been using this. This is like the second day I've been using it. I love this. Um, the Ed Hardy uh, body cream that doesn't have a scent on it. It doesn't say what it's supposed to smell like other than Ed Hardy. The, not the guy, but anyway. This was $4.99 in TJ Maxx. I picked this up last time. It, I picked it up scent unsmelled because it was sealed. And let me tell you something. This is so good. It's so floral and so perfumey. I love it. I was wearing this all day and like reapplying it as, you know, I wash my hands and they get dry and I kept saying to myself as I was going through the day what smells so good and then it was me it was me I smell so good this is amazing so I'm gonna leave that in the car because like I said I, I don't want them to think I stole it so let's go check out what they have okay so I feel like I decompressed did I stick to my budget of course not no I was so good I went into TJ Maxx right and I didn't buy anything I looked around and I didn't buy a thing I was very close to buying stuff but I did not buy anything I said you know what I'm gonna go look in Burlington and see what they have and then make my final decision I still smell good from things so Burlington I was very close to getting some handbags from that Beverly Hills Polo Club but I put him back because who am I kidding? I'm so used to backpacks. I love my backpacks. I just can't get used to a regular purse anymore. I like my hands to be free. I like to be able to look around and pick things up and just drop my phone and just drop everything like you saw. So yeah, I put those back, but mainly, mainly because the line literally wrapped around the entire store. I've never seen so many people online. You think what they were selling or giving away for free. Then I went back into TJ Maxx and I got a few things and I'll show you that later. I have determined that the only way, the only way that I'm going to stop shopping, I need to stop shopping. The only way I'm going to be able to stop is to avoid temptation completely. And that means not going to the store and not going online to Bath and Body Works website or anything like that. I can't, I have no willpower. I have no willpower at all. I already bought some stuff earlier today at Family Dollar that I have to show you. No more shopping online, no more going to stores, no more shopping, period. End of story. I have some stuff that's coming in the mail from Ulta and all posters and Amazon. The only thing that I have to get, which I may not, I may not even get it this week, I'll probably get it next week, is frames. I need frames, they're like $9.99 for the posters that I ordered. But no more body care, no more going to TJ Maxx, no more going to any of these stores. The temptation is just too much, too much 
you know, you spend $20 here, you spend $20 there, and then before you know it, it adds up. I need to stop shopping. I'm starting to think I have shopping addiction. Like, seriously. Like, it's the it's like the drug that calms me down, and I look at all the wonderful things. Now it's starting to scare me a little bit. There is a car, there's a SUV. I gotta show you this. There is an SUV in the parking lot that's literally painted glitter. And then look, you can see the children's place in the, in the mirror. Glitter, it's glitter. Weird. Okay, so like I was saying, shopping addiction is real. That's like food addiction, that's like smoking. I stopped smoking, it's been over two months. I have gone way off my diet, I stopped walking and I have stopped dieting. Um, I try to eat healthy when I can, but I just went off the rails on that. So I need to start walking again and I need to start dieting again and or eating healthier, not dieting, lifestyle changes. And so this weekend, since I have to work part of the weekend and since I'm not gonna be able to see the boyfriend because he has um, some stuff he has to do, um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean and organize my stuff. And then we're going to start using and reviewing and no more, no more purchasing. And I know I say that all the time, no more purchasing. So for the foreseeable future until semi-annual sale. So it's, so now it's March. So April, May, June, three months. Do you think that I could stop shopping for three months? I don't think I could stop shopping for three days. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so here we are at TJ Maxx with some Easter Bunny soap dispensers. They were full of soap. Um, they still, I think, I don't know, too pricey for me. $7.99. What am I going to do with it? I don't remember the soap smelling that great. And I have a tendency to knock things over. So I passed on that. Then they had these little bunny cottontail soaps. I didn't... That kind of looks like a gnome. I didn't really smell any of these. They were all Eastery. Wishing you a happy Easter. Cute. Yeah, it was easy to pass on that stuff. Then we went over to the body care. This had no smell. Pink frosted animal cracker. I think I bought this for Bad Enabler one time at full price. No scent. Then we have hemp heaven. Not hemp's, but hemp heaven. And heal and foot treatment. Love, beauty, and planet. And this just says soap. Soap. Very heavy gloss, $7.99. My favorite color, purple. But I put that back. Let's see. We have some more. I had picked up that up last time, that smooth operator. And this was $5.99. It's the same company. It's body prescription, soft as butter. Water Lily, that was really pretty. Peck and Sniffs, England. Never heard of it. You guys in England, tell me about that. Very emollient bath and shower gel, midnight tuberose. Uh, and the steam's coming up in my apartment. I like that Alba brand. I've been using the shampoo. It's really good for color treated hair. This was really pretty, the shea butter. Then we have hemp's fresh coconut and watermelon. Hemp's is always so expensive. Then we have the raw sugar foaming hand wash. That smelled really good. It was $2.99, but I was like, no. And then look, it lo I know that's supposed to be like crepey, but it looks like this is creepy skin. This smelled really, really good. Oh no, not the, well, this is really cute. Goat's milk. 
company. I'm going to smell everything. The raw sugar smelled really good. And at $2.99, I dropped it on the floor. I did a lot of dropping. Green apple and sweet grass. I remember picking it up and thought it, thought it said sweet ass on it. Anyway, let's put that down. Pick up another one. $2.99. No, we do not need soap. Put it back. Clean Botanica. Avocado and tea tree oil. This bottle, this bottle of body butter was huge. You can't really see in the picture. $6.99. It was enormous. And then we have like, I don't know, Jason Brand. Cinnamon chai latte. It, I thought it would have been cheaper because it's seasonal, but it wasn't cheaper. It was, how much was it? Yeah. Honey and collage. I don't, I'm not loving the Onyx bathhouse. I have to say the foaming bath body scrubs that I have, I have not been loving them. So I put down the Unicorn Dreams, even though it was $3.99. It doesn't foam like I expected it to. Okay, so here we are in the face skin aisle, skincare aisle. And we have some masks, some pore strips, lip masks. This looks so cute. It says brightening I'm lemon. They had a lot of masks. And Malcolm is choosing to look slow down skin and it has the sloth. Malcolm is choosing to drink his water right now. So if you hear slurping in the background, that's that. I did not need any more facial wipes, even though the watermelon ones were super cute. Make every day summer. Look at all these super cute wipes. Okay, so let's go over to a different aisle. Oh, look how cute. Egg mild cleansing foam. What section am I in? This is the f still face section. Coconut and rose. I was being very particular. Aloe vera soothing gel with a pig on it. That's not a pug. That looks more like a bulldog. Before anybody says I should have got that. Yeah, this is like all the facial scrubs. And I'm just kind of like all over the place. None of this stuff was interesting to me. Okay, so now we're over in the spa section where the eye, um, these are different masks. These are like eye masks, sleep masks, I should say, sleep masks. So this was the, like the spa, like pamper yourself section, a hair turban, hair wrap, hair towels. Yeah, so we were in the spa. Had some mirrors and such. Okay, now we're over in the candle section and they have all the poo stuff. This I thought was hysterical. All the, the toilet poo after poo sprays, they had them all near the candle section, $4.99. Unicorn Gold, uh, Mystic Forest. We had some fresh lemon bathroom spray, all the, the duty sprays. And then we have some Sand and Paws Mediterranean. I love the covers on the Sand and Paws. It's like from Sand and Fog. Goat's Milk and Honey Luxury Fragrance. So they have the room mists mixed with the duty sprays. Here we have, for your English people here, Keep Calm and Poo On in English Rose. So I put that back. That one didn't smell so good. $4.99. Okay, so now we're over by the candles. Why did I film this weird? 
Let me see if I turn the camera around. I probably did. Why did I film? Sometimes if you don't make sure that your camera is filming the right way, it gets all weird and then you drop it on the floor. I don't know. I don't know what I, how I filmed this like this. Because I'm trying to smell the candles as I'm filming. Island guava. That one I, I was very tempted. And then we had some village candle. Very tempting. Warm tobacco pipe. That's been around for a while. The village candles are $12.99. How long did I film this way? Upside down like this. Eucalyptus and lavender, sand and fog. I can't believe I, I held the camera this wrong way for this whole time. Sand and pause. Worst filming ever. Lemon lavender. Okay, back to regular. Sand and fog, huge candle. Awesome orange. They had a lot of sand and fog. A lot of DW home, a lot of sand and fog. This is so cute. It smelled okay. I think I'm the worst at these walkthroughs. I dropped my phone, I filmed from the wrong angles. Okay, so these are the ones I was torn on. Lemon drop and lemon lavender. And then there's one with the sloth, eucalyptus leaf. You had a peony one. Look at this cute makeup bag. I was so tempted with the rainbow zipper. So, so super cute. And it was like $9.99, I think. Oh, turn over the tag. $9.99 it was. So cute. Then here is Burlington. Look at the awesome bags. Oh my God. I so wanted that BB bag. It was like 20 bucks. And this one, I had this in my hand. Beverly Hills Polo Club. I love this bag. Love it. And it was $19.99. And it had the zipper closure, not the snap closure. So cute. And this one is Vera Wang. So adorable. $98, but then it was $22.99. I kept going back to the Beverly Hills Polo Club. I had this one was a larger one, that beige one. But look at the line. I really was going to get that beige one or the red or both. Okay, so now I'm back at TJ Maxx. Cute little bunny mug. Okay, guys, I'm home. Hair experience. Um, Deep breath. Yeah, Um, I did have some relaxations while I was shopping. I didn't buy, look at my hair. Oh my God. I did not buy a lot of stuff. Okay. But I thought I would be able to keep myself to two items and I just couldn't do it. Could not do it. Okay. So get something out of my bag. All right. Okay, so what did I purchase at TJ Maxx? I picked up another one of the Ed Hardy body lotions for $4.99. I love this. I can't even tell you what scent it is because it doesn't say, and this, it's sealed. It's sealed. But I picked one up last time. I told you guys I've been using it. 
This is, this is the one that's open that I had in my bag. It smells so good. It's so perfumey and so amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And I don't know if I'd be able to find it again. There was one more left, so I could have bought two, but I did not. So I have the one that I'm using and then I have the spare. And then they had this cream, right, by One Direction, which I was not going to get because I was like, oh, One Direction. But it smelled really good, and it was $2.99, but it was yellow, like it was turning. So I put that down, and I found one that I liked even better. They had one of these was open, and... I smelled it and it smelled amazing. It looks like Victoria's Secret, but it's Sexy Secret by Jean-Marc Paris. I don't know if I can smell it through here. I can't really smell it through there. Actually, I should open this because I'm going to be using it, so I'll open it. Well, maybe I won't open it just now because I also picked up, so this was $5.99 and I also picked up the sexy secret in the spray and this whoa, and this is $6.99 to let the alcohol die down it smells really really good it's really strong it's a really strong heavy perfume scent. It's not even floral. It's like perfume. It's like super heavy. So yeah, lots of pinks. And then, so I, so far, and these were, this was $4.99. This was, was this $5.99? How much was this? Okay. So $4.99, $5.99. $6.99. So not, not super expensive haul, but you know, it adds up little by little. Then I picked up one candle. It was really hard to decide. I really wanted that lemon drop candle because it had, it smelled like just like a sweet lemon scent. But I love the picture on the jar so much with the uh, the lemon martinis. Oh, it was so nice. But And I do love Village Candles. Then they had that DW Home Guava candle in that hot pink. I really wanted that one. But I was like, no, I'm going to limit myself to one candle. So I did do that. I ended up getting the Village Candle, which I still haven't burned the last one that I bought. The Village Candle... This is going to be really nice for summer. This was $12.99, and this is Guava Tangerine. This smells like summer. This really, really smells like summer. It's so pretty, and it just smells like guava and tangerines. So, I find Village Candle to be the best company uh, there that I've tried. I still have to try the Sand and Paws. I've not tried Sand and Fog. I've tried DW Homes before. DW Home. Uh, but I, I still, I like Village Candle the best. And then the last thing that I picked up, I hope it didn't break because fragile. I'm going to use this for decor. I'm not going to use this to actually drink out of. They only had two left, and one of them was chipped. Hope this one is not chipped. Oh, this one's chipped too. Ah, uh, damn it. Did it chip in the bag? No. Well, you can't really, you can't really see it. It's in the back. It's chipped. Ah, uh, it's chipped in the back. All right, so I'll just put it this way. It's kind of chipped in the front too. It's very delicate. It's so cute. Okay, and then it says Happy Easter. Look, it's chipped. 
But when you put it down, when you put it down, you can't really, you can't really see. So I'm going to use this as, as decoration, or maybe I'll use it for makeup brushes in the spring, you know, for little makeup brushes and stuff. And this says bunny mug. So that's what I picked up. The mug, the candle, two body creams, and a fine fragrance mist. So, yeah. Let's see if I can hold. And most of it, nearly all of it, is pink. Look, nearly all of it is pink. This is all pink. The only thing that I got that wasn't pink is the bunny. It's all pink. It's all pink. And then, and then the bunny. Thumbnail. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do my family dollar haul separate. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.